Okay, and we want to be able to do um, multiplication division in polar form as well. So we'll just start with a couple of numbers in polar form. These are actually the same two numbers as I was using before, but converted into polar form. So Z1 is so, and Z2 has got a nice negative angle in it, just to show that there's nothing to, to worry about there. Um, <coughs> I'm not going to do addition and subtraction in polar form. Basically, it's a nightmare. If you want to do addition and subtraction, put them into Cartesian forms and um, add and subtract the other ones. You have to doing vector addition and subtraction, and you do that anyway. You make them into components, so it's really the same thing. Okay, to do multiplications, so if I want to do Z1 times Z2, then the way it works is that you multiply the magnitudes. So just multiply... 5 times root 29, and you add the two um, angles. So what have we got? We're adding, let's bring a calculator in here, so we're adding 0.927 and negative 1.19, which is negative 0.263. Okay, so in general, if we have two complex numbers in polar form, uh, we'll call them that, then you, to multiply them, you multiply the two lengths or the two sizes, and you add the two angles. Okay, and that's that's all there is to it. And that's probably a lot easier than doing the um, multiplication in uh, Cartesian form. You don't have to worry about expanding brackets and sorting out the I squared terms. You just do that nice simple process.